Hi guys, so it's the end of November and I got quite a few albums and many of them were pretty new because in my country post works better before Christmas. Makes no sense, I know. So, uh, I got quite a few albums and I was way more active in uploading videos in the second half than I was in the first half of the month. Like, I'm like K-pop during the year. They are just way too active in the second half and do almost nothing in the first half. They are annoying. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm like about to get a heart attack because the foil on one of the albums just came off and it's like, okay, that's, I'm not happy. All the links for these unboxings are in the description. The first things I got, well, uh, last month, but uploaded them like for this month are the Monsex Are You There albums, which are probably one of my favorite things this year. I really love the album. The photo books are great this time. I, I like the 4 version better than I did with the Connect, which is like annoying that two versions were really similar in concept. So these are all different, which I really like. I, I don't really like buying 4 versions in general, but if I have to buy 4 versions, at least make them like this and not like that. And actually I'm doing much better with photo cards than I did with the Connect. Like, I need one more Minyak version specific card. I need the one where I got Juhan, which I believe is this one. The really pretty Juhan card. So he's up for trade for that Minyak card. And I think, like, I need one more pre-order and that's it. So, uh, I, and, and the connect is not doing good, but yeah. So please trade me that card. And, and these are really pretty, I'm fine with the packaging and I like it how they are white and after all the dark albums recently, so I'm pretty content with this release. Then, the most exciting part of this year, for me and for like 20 people on my channel, was me buying Snooper albums and, and actually this was the time that I managed to complete their collection because I got the last things I needed because we ignore the existence of Platonic Love because it doesn't exist. So I got both versions of I Wanna because I can't resist to buy both versions for underrated groups. Uh, by the way, I'm thinking of doing a how I collect video. I don't know. I, I think I did one years ago, but... I do have rules, but they are not set by numbers, so I, I, I can't even explain them myself, so whatever. So I got both versions, of course, they are both beautiful, and there are some things up for trade for Sanko, because he doesn't like me very much. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. It's fine. And it's exciting because I got all the order albums for Snooper, which was a thing for this year, so I'm really glad I managed to complete that. And then, my absolute favorite thing this month. Was it this month? No, it was last month. I don't know. It was last month, I think, like when it came out. The JBJ95 or JBJ Guo, which is fun because I thought they would be Gu Ship O, but they are Guo, just simply that, so 95. So I wonder if they are supposed to be JBJ95 in English. I have no clue. But I love these mini albums so much the songs everything on them I love the title check home so much I didn't check how many listens it has in my iTunes but it must have a lot and this is absolutely beautiful the photo books are a bit dark but in general it's a nice packaging I forgive for the box it, I think it has a magnet yeah it does have a magnet so the extras are really nice I did get some doubles and my friends didn't get the things to trade for them, so I don't know yet what I'm gonna do or if I'm gonna get extra copies of this because it's just two of them, but there are so many extras and I just love both of them so much. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life because the JBJ95 is ruining it. I mean, JBJ already kinda did, but like this is like more than I ever wished for. So, they're beautiful, I love them. So I thought to keep the pattern, I unboxed Dong Han's D Knight. This is one of the versions, the close-up one I call it, after the JBJ Guo unboxing because he's also great. He has nice music. I also really like this mini album, just not as much as his previous one. Ooh, that's like okay. So I just thought I should buy it, even though I'm not a fan of the hair. It suits the concept, I guess. So 
yeah, I kept the pattern with the JBJ thing. Then there are some girl group snacks. I don't know what was going on this month. I, I so I got Wikimiki's Kiss Kicks, the pink version. Finally, um, I think I got this late. No, I bought it late, and then it didn't take that long to arrive. But I bought it pretty late. So, but I got the Kiss version, I believe, or the pink one. I just call it the pink one. It's a pretty decent single, I'd say. So. But I only collect one version for Wikimiki, so I got this. Then, my dolls. I got April's The Ruby. I love it. The mini album is really nice, as usual. The title track is a bit different, but still fun. I really like it. I don't know where they're going with their sound, but since the album still sounds very much like April's previous sound, um, I, I don't know. I can't decide. And oh god, Checking looks so great there. I just noticed that she's like has has a almost full body shot, so like oh there's something. It has an interesting packaging, not unboxing friendly, but it's really pretty so, and very pink. Then one of the favorite things that happened this year for me are GWSN's debut, and because I I'm not I don't know for this year I wasn't really into rookies, even though I think the girls were still better than the boys rookies wise. But like nothing really just gave me the impression that whoa I need more of this. I don't know they maybe did. The thing is that they are my favorite I think. So I was really excited to finally get it even though I got it a bit late. And it's such a great mini album. I love all the songs. The Child of Shrek Puzzle Moon is it's perfect. So if you still haven't heard it please check it out. And of course Your Lava is like the everyone's favorite song I think who heard the album but in general all the other songs are really good too it's a really nice debut debuts usually are not this good so you should check it out then more girls I got I got Goo Goo Dance Act 5 new action which is my favorite release by them not only the title track is my favorite and it's perfect I also really love the album itself and the concept is really pretty the pictures are gorgeous and the slipcover is loose again and it's like very strange slipcover because it changes so, like how it's on the album so it's not that good but it makes the album look pretty so like I try to forget it it's really great and I didn't expect to get something good good on this year so I was impressed and I bought it that that's it then a debut that I was impressed with is 80s treasure their first mini album so I, I kind of like that. I didn't like it as much as my friend did, but I thought that maybe I should really buy it because I didn't really buy rookies this year. I don't know why I don't count stray kids as rookies. That makes no sense. I don't know. So I bought this, and when I listened to the album, it's like I like this a lot more than I think I did. So it's just—is there even checklist on this, or just like inside? Whatever, all the other songs beside the two songs which has MVs, I like even better than those and those were already pretty good songs. This is such a good mini album, so if you haven't heard it, at least just skim through it, like check how the songs sound and you might like them and then listen to the whole thing. So if you like the sound that they do in the MVs, then you're gonna love the album even more. So this is a great mini album. Then. Like, I'm trying to have not many favorite things this month, but finally there were good things this month. Uh, and one of them is Hot Shots Early Flowering. Again, a perfect mini album. All the songs are great, better than the title track, which is a really pretty song. And this is so pretty though, this album is just looks so pretty. But Print is perfect, Paradise is perfect, Better is perfect, Body Talks is amazing. That's my favorite song. Like, Red Velvet's Body Talk, is that just body talk I think is also such a great song hmm body talk related things are, are good songs hmm. so if you haven't heard this album for some strange reason oh god why wouldn't you then go and listen to this because you're gonna be in love so probably JBJ 95 and early flowering are my favorite mini albums and like I just this month I don't know I'm having a really hard time actually with picking favorites just suddenly so many good th things came out like I didn't like K-pop this much during the first 10 months almost so 
I'm confused and this is so pretty. That's why I'm talking a lot, I'm sorry. And then the next thing is the thing that happened. I don't know when this happened. Maybe it was on my shelf. I'm upset. So, it's Snooper's latest uh, release. It's like a special thing. It's not really on its own. It's more like belongs to Blossom, their previous release this year. It's a bit confusing, but it has hollow glasses on it. And in general, it's just really pretty how it looks like. And I'm really upset that this happened to it. Like, how? Uh, oh God, no. Uh, mm. So again, people's favorite thing on my channel is Snooper unboxings. We all know that. And yeah, I have Snooper. Two Snooper unboxings this month. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm sorry, but I know that the people who watches them, like, it actually has a really high like view ratio. <laughs> like, those who watch it are like, yes, good, I'm glad she bought <laughs> Snooper. So I found that super funny and I love those people. And I really like when I get comments on Snooper videos. So I'm having fun, not on my own, but I'm having fun with some other people. So everyone who doesn't watch them, then that's not good for you, but like, we are doing fine, okay? So, the next thing that happened, it was this month that Alphabet came back to my country and I went to their free fan meeting and I got their latest digital single, New Way, and it's signed. So I got it from the fan meeting, it's like, I paid for it and then got it with my own hand and it, that's special, it did, didn't came in the mail or anything like that. So I kind of forgot about this video and then I uploaded it a bit later than I wanted. So that kind of sucks, but hey. Then, I know I still have more. I was really active this week. <laughs> it's on. And in my unboxing, I said that I'm renaming them for myself. They are Izone. So, like, I know how they are supposed to be pronounced. And I ignore that and I say Izone. So, I got colorists. I got both versions because I got the support. My girl. So, it's Chayon and... Well, I might have not bought both versions if there was no CD plate. Then probably I would have only bought this. So, sales gimmick got me. So, yeah, I got both albums. They have really pretty photo books. I have my opinions on this and some people not like it. And I don't really care because for me they are like... Like, I have the best interest for the group. And like, like, and for other girls who didn't make it, so like, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with what I think. So yeah, whatever. I just don't like it when people who didn't even follow the show are like, "Oh, why are you complaining?" I'm like, no, sit down. You don't know anything. You didn't watch it, so like, just don't get involved. Whatever. So. I'm quite okay with the mini album, although it's a bit bummer that most of the songs are from Produce because then you don't get new content, but Lovey and Rose is perfect and it's such a great song and Wild Chayon is, is literally perfect, so yeah, I, I got both because the CD plates are pretty, I don't know, I need to get the cards <laughs> then, still have more, I know, I'm sorry I got Stray Kids' I Am You and Story of How I Got the Other Versions and I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself with keeping up with Stray Kids' stuff because I'm unable to do that with God 7 and apparently twice <laughs> so, so that's good and I'm not a huge fan of their photo books but I like their music and I like the boys so I obviously buy them I just wish this era be over and change their photo books not really the concept but just do something more with the photo books because i'm like not really feeling it and this album is also the story of how i changed my bias so I i'm not trading anything from this anymore because i got the things i wanted so and then the last thing for this month i it's really the last are these huge magazine albums and they have stupid packaging but they are absolutely gorgeous they are the golden child wish albums and i don't like it how Willem does different packagings for their mini albums like not that i want to keep the miracle packaging because that's heavy but i don't want to keep this either so just go back to the first mini album i like that that was cute so these are gorgeous 
The mini album is also really nice. I like Genie. It's fun, upbeat, it's golden child sound, which makes them special and hopefully it makes them have a strong fan base like Lovelies and Infinite because I feel like that what Ul Ulim is special at is making a group with such a, a distinct sound and they own the sound that the fans just like love them for that. I, I can't really explain but I feel like like these fan bases are really strong because just the sound and I don't know how that makes sense and all the members always can pull off the sound really well Ulim just has this talent so I just wish they were a bit less stupid in different things I don't know so in general I just like Golden Child except the packaging thing yeah I don't like that but that's not really their fault so yeah I got all these things this month there's the huge stack. I thought that Monstax would be my favorite, but then JBJ Guo and um, Hotshot came out. So I'm just very confused. But Monstax has the full album thing going on for them. So this year's K pop album tag is gonna be interesting. And I'm gonna go now because this is such a long video. I'm sorry. Bye!